New federal ban on most flavored e-cigarettes is now in effect. It began at midnight, and the whole intention is to try to keep kids away from vaping. But not everyone thinks the new ban is effective. Channel 11's Liz Kilmer joins us live this morning. And Liz, explain that loophole that experts are pointing to here. Yeah, guys, so the FDA says that it finally wanted to take some action. The FDA calls this a crisis. Of course, we've been telling you about this for quite some time uh, and its impacts on kids and teens. But some critics are saying that this recent action just isn't enough. So as for what's happening here, as of today, there's a nationwide ban on some e-cigarette flavors, including kid-friendly ones like mint and fruit. And then certain devices are also now illegal, specifically the ones that use uh, the pre-filled pods or the cartridges. But disposable e-cigarettes are not included in this ban, which means teens have a loophole to continue vaping and to continue getting that nicotine fix that many of them are now hooked on. One expert told NBC, quote, the new policy does not solve the problem. Millions of flavored products will remain available. Now, the FDA, though, says that it had to strike a balance. It couldn't totally ban these products because they need to ensure that adults can still use them, particularly adults who uh, vape in order to stop smoking actual cigarettes. We're going to continue to follow this and we'll bring you any new developments as soon as we can. Back to you. Liz, thank you. And all morning, if you've been with us, we've been asking you, what do you think? Here's the question we've been posing. Do you think the flavored e-cigarette ban will keep teens from vaping? Overwhelmingly, 92% of you say no. Thank you for weighing in this morning.